you learn that the text is in the background layer. And of course, sprites are movable objects, and that's what that white square is considered. So let's figure out how this all works. In the folder, we have a number of different files. This first file is a support library for some of the software. It's not necessary to worry about. We have ASM6 next, which is the compiler. This puts all of our code together into a program that can run on the NES or the $10 computer. We have compile.bat, which is a batch file, which runs all uh, uh, runs this ASM6 and makes sure all the files are in order. We have name.bat, which runs this executable, which we're going to take a look at in a minute. Then we have sprite.asm, which is the actual code. Sprite.nes, which is the final version of what you just saw. Test chr, which is a, a chr or graphics data. And test.nam, which is name table or background data. It's a lot to think about, but it all makes sense in a minute. We're going to go back to YYCHR, which we already looked at first, and open this um, CHR file. Just like Mario Brothers, we see here that there are two pages. Here, though, the pages are identical. It's a tile set that I created with letters and numbers, as well as a variety of different shapes. This is the tile set that the program we just saw uses. So if we open this up, it's not hard to see that the text here comes from right here. The square comes from up here in the corner and is also used in the border as well. So if we close this once again, and keep in mind that these are the tiles that make up that game, we're going to look at something else called name.bat, which is a batch, fi a batch file that runs name.exe. So if we edit this file, we can see it just says name test. So it uses the file name test. It uses test chr, which is the tile set we just looked at, and it saves a file called test.nam, which is the background information. So we'll go ahead and run it. Here we see something that looks just like that screen that we saw a moment ago, except there's no color. As we remember from editing the Mario sprites, doesn't matter if you edit the graphics, the color is made by the NES itself in code. So here we have that background data. This is similar to YYCHR, where you can click to change. Here we click and we see what we've selected down here in the preview menu, this asterisk or the star. And just like a paint program, we can paint here. If we right click, it'll select the current tile. So as you can see, clicking on these, it selects it. Let's select a blank tile here. We can go back and erase what we've already drawn. But we're going to leave something in here. We'll leave this little line to show that we've made some changes. You save by hitting Control S and always quit not by hitting the X but by hitting Control Q. There. Now we've edited this name file, this .nam. We're going to talk about the code in a minute, but first let's hit compile. This is what puts the code together. Hit compile here, we'll read some data, and it says pass one, pass two. If there's no problems, it's going to write this binary file. So you always want to make sure pass one and pass two happen with no problems. You know that it's executed properly. Now let's take a look at this program again. So you notice we now have the same movable sprite, but we have that line that we drew. So you can see it's really easy to edit that background data with name.exe. And the sprite's going to go over top of it. It's still hitting the walls, but we'll talk about that now. Next, we're going to take a look at sprite.asm. This is the ASM, or Assembly Language Programming, that makes up the game that we, or the little demo that you just saw. So, use Context to edit this software. Context is a free editor. One of the best parts about it is that at the top, it has a highlighter option. If you download the 6502 Assembly Highlighter, it color codes all the code for you, and it makes it a lot easier to read. 
starting at the top, we can scroll through the code and see how it is organized. The green lines, that they show up green with a highlighter, that separate major portions of the code. These are necessary, but it makes it easier to see. 